Hello, Can Cream here, CC for short, and today I would like to talk to you about princesses. Or, to be exact, what does a princess do? For this question, I know that the immediate answer is also the correct one. They rule the kingdom. Cadence manages the Crystal Empire, ensuring that it is filled with love and happiness so those feelings can spread across Equestria. Celestia and Luna oversee the passing of the days, ensuring that each day and night smoothly transitions from one to the other. And as for Twilight, while we don't yet know exactly what being the princess of friendship is going to entail, we will hopefully get an explanation that fleshes that out further in Season 5. If you're watching this video and Season 5 has already happened, then greetings, future man! But back to the topic at hand. While we do know the basics about the ruling powers of a princess, this is really just a very broad and generalized description. What about the finer details? Well, this is where things start getting tricky, because we don't often see the princesses really doing much. Whenever they're not directly fighting danger, they seem to be hosting or visiting various festivals and parties. Let's go ahead and use Princess Celestia as an example here. Not because I have anything against the Princess of the Sun, but just because she has the most screen time as an active princess. I would never say anything that could be seen as treasonous against the Great Solar Empire. Do you hear me, Princess? I promise I'll stop. Please call off the guard. <sighs> Don't hurt me. <clears throat> anyway, as Equestria's more or less main ruler, Princess Celestia has to have a fair amount of responsibilities. Yet we don't often see her partaking in any of them, with the possible exception of her overseeing the marriage of Shining Armor and Cadence, slash Chrysalis, slash Cadence, again. The reasons we don't see Celestia overseeing the day-to-day -day affairs of her kingdom are likely twofold. The first being that she isn't our main character, nor is the state of political affairs in Equestria our main focus. It's about six friends having fun, going on adventures, and learning the true power of key. Er, friendship. The second reason is that all of the times we do not see the princess, those are when she's probably locked away in a meeting room somewhere. Maybe with her advisors, overseeing the minute details that goes into keeping the inner gears of an entire country turning. However, Celestia does not oversee her kingdom alone. In fact, just looking at the sheer size of Equestria, and assuming that Equestria is just a nation limited to what we see on the map, it would be near impossible for her to do so. Now this, I think, is where ponies like Mayor Mayor come into play. Some people, myself included, have asked what exactly the mayor has to do now that Twilight is a princess living in Ponyville, and if that means her mayor's job has been diminished or made redundant. While there may be some impact on certain aspects of her duties, for example, it seems that Twilight is more likely to host Ponyville events than the mayor, I think her position of overseeing her town's basic needs will still remain in place. If a small town like Ponyville has a governing leader, then it's likely that nearly all of the settlements have a similar elected official. The mayors take care of each individual town's needs, possibly filing reports about their town's expenditures, supplies, and important occurrences to the princess herself, as well as even asking her for direct intervention should any special circumstances arise, like Philadelphia's Parasprite infestation. So while the city mayors take care of the small daily workings, Celestia is free to tend to the larger aspects of running a country, as we've already seen her do in episodes like Twilight's Kingdom where she meets with foreign dignitaries. I would imagine she is also tasked with things like setting laws, keeping a flowing economy, ensuring the kingdom has a strong standing army, and overseeing the requests of her subjects. The kinds of things that are more fun in a government building sim than to watch in cartoons. So while we do not directly see her performing these actions, I have to assume they are being done. Equestria society is just far too advanced to imagine anything else. 
While it is just a theory on my part, I think it would help flesh out Equestria's style of government a little, as well as explaining exactly what the princess is doing during the periods where she's not off fighting changeling queens or greeting guests at the Grand Galloping Gala. As powerful as Celestia is with her magic, and as wise as she seems to be about wielding her power and title, no one pony can oversee an entire kingdom on their own. It's a good thing we have Luna. To help her. Good thing we have Luna to help her. Not that she needs it, of course, because Celestia is so great. <laughs> uh... So, thank you very much for watching. Post your own thoughts about the responsibilities of an equine princess in the comments below. And, as always, Stay please send help. What did you just say? Nothing.